Hello researchers. How are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In the previous video, I have demonstrated you how to install Kali Linux on Oracle VirtualBox. But after the installation, it is not possible for you to install some softwares using some apt-get command because why? Because you don't have installed the repositories. Now in this video, I am going to show you how to update your repository database in Kali Linux so that you should be able to update your Kali Linux and you should be able to install all the packages like we have in Ubuntu like apt-get update etc etc commands. So what you have to do is to open one file and you have to put some you can say web links in that file. I will be showing you how to put that and after that you can just update your Kali Linux. Now, as you can see on my screen, I have already started my Kali Linux and I have already logged into my root account. So if I say who, it is already saying root. So if I go with this command that is called apt-get update, you can find that it is reading the package list but it is not updating my Kali Linux. So how to update it? Let us follow the steps in very simple manner. So what you have to do is to open one notepad like editor like we have Vim, VI or Nano in Ubuntu. We are having one editor that is called leafpad. So we can use this leafpad that is leafpad and you have to open one file which is located in this link that is slash etc slash apt slash sources dot list and you have to press enter. Now you can see that this file is very empty. Now here is the list of the repositories which I have developed for you and I have divide, divided this repository into two parts. One is Kali Linux rolling repository which means that whenever new package comes into Kali Linux it will be automatically updated when you run apt-get update on your Kali Linux and Kali Linux old repositories which is having some SANA and Kali SANA non-free contrib or Kali security SANA etc etc. So what I have to do, I just have to copy paste all these lines into my this leaf pad. So you can uh, even remove this, no need to have this and I can just remove this also and here. So what you have to do is to just save this file. So click on file, click on save and click close. So let me close this and now when I go and get this command that is apt-get update, you will be able to update the Kali Linux but don't you worry when you run this command for the first time in the fresh installation it can take some time but when you run it after that it will be very fast. So let us press enter. So now you can see that in the previous command it was not showing anything and now it is saying 0% working which means now it is crawling the repository and it is connecting to various repositories which I have given it in the source list. So it will take some time so I will not pause the video you can just see that how it will be crawling all the repositories and after that we will be able to install any package which you can feel like into Kali Linux. So now you can see that it has started updating and it has crawled about 10 MB of the repository and it has crawled the mirrors also. So 10 MB and 13 MB and now it has crawled again the 9 MB of the repository and again the 12 MB of another repository. And so now you can see that it has fetched about 46 MB in 54 seconds and now your Kali Linux is ready to install any package whatever you feel like. So what I recommend when you install a fresh Linux that is Kali Linux so do update your repository so that you should be able to install any sort of package into Kali Linux. Thank you so much. We will be coming back with more videos on Kali Linux.